All right, so we're gonna go through a little bit of lower body stretching, some of my favorite exercises for that. So we should be all warmed up, a little shimmy through the hips, maybe a few squats, just to warm them up if you haven't already done so. Good, a little shake side to side, lengthening through the hip flexor, through those abductors. And then we're gonna hold it over to one side. So a heavy bend in one leg, sending the hips back. For any stretching, what you want to really think about is holding it at least 10 seconds, but ideally up to two minutes. So feeling that length all through the inside, shoving the hips back, weight is on that one supporting leg. All right, so like I said, 10 seconds up to two minutes. Feel free to hold it longer, but I'm gonna switch sides. Again, sending the hips back, shoulders back, long through the collarbone, big deep breaths. Inhaling in and out through the nose. Feeling that lengthening happening. And then we're gonna turn. So heel is lifted on the back leg, Bend in that front knee and press through those hips and you'll feel that stretch right into that hip flexor. Shoulders back, ears, shoulders, hips in line. And the other side, pressing through those hips. Again, 10 seconds to two minutes for our stretching. Big deep breaths, those exhales will let you get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Good, weight on the back foot this time. We're gonna send the hips back and long through that front leg. Where you should feel that is through the hamstring, so the back of the straight leg. Leaning the chest forward. Notice how my back is nice and long so the spine is straight. Other side. Same idea. Weights on the supported bent leg while the heel is down, toes are up on that extended leg. Straight through the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Slow, deep breaths. Good, coming up, little shake out. So we can grab onto something to hold for support if you like, so a wall, a chair back, a couch. And we're gonna grab onto one foot. So pressing down through the heel, or sorry, down through the knee, and press that foot into your hand. Now, if that is a little bit too high for you, what you can do is come maybe onto a chair or a couch and stretch the quadricep, that front thigh muscle, this way. So however you're comfortable doing it, either way the knees are gonna stay close together. This is a nice one if you're able to grab a hold of that foot because you're also opening up through the chest and the shoulders. Other side. Again, balancing if you wish or if you have a chair or something to rest that foot on, you can do that as well. Knees stay in line, that'll help lengthen through the quad, open up through the chest. Good, and lastly, my favorite one is gonna get into the glutes. This can be done sitting down, so if that's your preference, feel free to sit or hang on to something for balance, I'm gonna take one foot and cross it over the opposite knee and sit down and back. So the more you press that knee away from the body and then lean forward, the deeper that stretch will be through the glutes. Again, tall through the spine, reaching the chest forward. And other side. Feel free to go through these again, holding it for longer if you wish. 
Just a gentle press on that knee, not forcing it past where it's comfortable. Feeling that stretch through the outside of the glute. Good, standing up, big breath up. And just a forward fold here to finish it off. Trying to stack the hips over the heels. Hands can be on the thighs, the floor, or right down. Sorry, the thighs, the shins, or the floor. And slowly roll up. 